Hi guys, this is from RGC Tutorials and today I'm going to teach you on how to compute your daily electrical consumption. So let's start. Welcome back viewers. Before we proceed with our calculations, let us first record the power consumptions of each of our appliances. It is usually found at the back of the device. Here are some examples. So that was the following examples of the labels that we must find within our device in order to determine its power consumption. Now we can begin with our calculations. So for example, if we have a fridge, here, fridge, if our fridge is equal to 100 watts, all we need to do first is convert this into kilowatts. 1 kilowatt is equal to 1000 watts. So how will you convert it? into kilowatt it's simple just put it over 1 and then divide it 8 by 1000 watts over 1 kilowatt so now according to the rules of fractions all we need to do is cross multiply this so we will have a result of 100 watts over kilowatt over 1000 watts so what's next we will just cancel this put the watt symbol or the w and then what's left is 100 kilowatts over 1000 and now we will only divide 100 divided by 1000 so the result is 0 0.1 kilowatts so this is our kilowatt equivalent of our 100 watts which is the consumption of our fridge now let's take that 0 0.1 kilowatts and then multiply it by how many hours that our fridge is running example if our fridge is running at 4 hours we will multiply this at 4 hours but usually our fridge is running for 24 hours so we will multiply this by 24 hours so it is equal to 2.4 kilowatt per R. So that is our daily consumption of our fridge. Next, if we have another appliances, for example, a blender, blender, in its power consumption is 1000 watts, again, we will convert it into kilowatt. So let's just do the same procedure as before. So this will become 1 kilowatt. And then we will multiply 1 kilowatt by how many hours it is running per day. So we will find out the average hours that our blender is running per day. Usually about let's say 1 to 2 hours. Let's assume that it's 2 hours. So let's multiply it by 2 hours. So, 1 kilowatt times 2 hours is equivalent to 2 kilowatt per hour. So, that is our daily consumption of our blender. Now, for the third appliance, for example, let's say you have a water heater rated at 1500 
100 watts which will be converted into 1.5 kilowatts again we will multiply the kilowatt to the number of hours we use it each day usually we only use our heaters for an average of about one to two hours again or so let's just assume that we use it for only one hour a day so it is equivalent to 1.1.5 kilowatt hour per day so that is our daily consumption of our water heater now for the lights for example you have an LED light which is equivalent to 7 watch each and you have about maybe 10 10 pieces of LED lights multiplied it by 7 watts so it is equivalent to 70 watts and then we will convert it again into kilowatts so 70 watts is equivalent to 0 0.07 kilowatts now again let's take this and multiply this um, this equivalent uh, in kilowatts into the number of hours that we use our lights every day let's say we use our lights for an average of um, maybe 18 hours hours a day so 18 hours so it is equal to 1.26 kilowatt hour that is per day now after getting this of appliances this is just an example if if you have any more appliances at home you can just add so that we can get more appliances to sum up now after getting this information let's all add up this number starting with 2.4 kilowatts here 2.4 kilowatt per hour plus 2 kilowatt per hour kilowatt per hour and then 1.5 kilowatt per hour and then our lights at 1.26 kilowatts per hour so let's sum this up and the result is 6 4 5 9 11 2, 4, 6, 7 So, this is our total daily consumption in our home per day If you want to know the price of this consumption just multiply 7.16 or the sum of your power consumption to the power company's price for example their price is ten dollars each or ten pesos or which country wherever you are so let's multiply it by 7.16 so the result is 71.6 so that is the amount that you will pay for that day only Thank you for watching and I hope you learned something today and if you have any questions or any suggestions just leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and God bless.